is the True Real Estate 911 podcast with Lisa True. Lisa will share up-to-date real estate information with you that you need to know. Welcome to True Real Estate 911. It is Brian Mudd along with your local real estate pro, Lisa True, full of good information that can help save you money and give you a better life. I mean, come on, save money and, and give you a better life? Eh, get any better than that. And we're going to walk through the value proposition of real estate right now throughout the Palm Beaches. But first, if you're not already there, go to truerealestate911.com. It's truerealestate911.com. Once you're there, it'll all make perfect sense to you. You will understand with clarity why it is the best local real, real estate resource for you, like the ability to search the MLS in real time, just like a real estate pro. Trues make that available for you. All of the instructive videos with the latest information in local real estate for you to be more informed, to help make a buying decision, selling decision, or again, if even if you're just a real estate voyeur and, and you're curious about what's going on in your neighborhood. It's all there at truerealestate911.com. All right, Lisa, we continue to see mixed bag kind of information when it comes to local real estate. What is the condition on the ground right now? Well, it is making our job super fun right now because we have markets where there's still multiple offers, and then we have properties that are just priced perfectly that are sitting on the market. And so you have to understand what is coming and understand the data at a very high level if you really want to get your home sold. I was thinking about you. We recently had the most expensive sale in uh, the Palm Beaches, the $110 million sale on Palm Beach. And uh, you, you'd been talking about how there are different lanes, like even within luxury, that luxury up to a point was not doing well, but then the super high-end luxury, like with that type of property, that was moving okay. And it all matters what you're looking at, where you're looking at it, how things are priced, how it's positioned. And so it sounds like, Lisa, if people are, are getting everything right, there's opportunity. For those that are missing a little bit, they got problems. If anything is off just a little bit, you are going to miss it. And it's important to understand seasonality and what's going on. And we're here to help you really understand the marketplace. Now, when we're taking a look at next steps for real estate, on today's show, we're going to talk about the value proposition of buying. You know, a lot of times people will think, oh, I've got to have this big, massive plan if I'm going to be buying a new home. But when it comes to somebody in particular who might be renting, for example, that might not necessarily be the case. What you're going to present is a value proposition where literally in almost all instances, it's easier and cheaper to own your own home than it is to rent and continue to pay the landlord. It is really amazing to me how people think it's harder and that they can't afford to buy. And I have to tell you that for one out of four renters, that is the absolute falsehood in the marketplace. If you are renting, you could be one of the ones that not only could but should be going ahead and buying a home because many times it is more affordable to go ahead. And not only that, it's gotten easier to qualify if you have the income and, you know, reasonable credit. You don't have to have perfect credit, just reasonable credit credit out there. And Lisa, when you're talking about the, the opportunity, you know, the last time we, we spoke, talking about the lowest mortgage rates in two years. Well, we just hit the lowest mortgage rates in over three years now, where we're talking about 30-year fixed rate mortgages that have been originated of late anywhere from three and a half to about three and a quarter percent. I mean, we're talking about near record low mortgage rates again. It is the perfect storm right now. We have more choices lower interest rates, and we've been able, even Brian, people are shocked at this, in some cases getting some terms that we have not even dreamed of for quite some time, like closing cost. So it really is the time to take a look at it and revisit it, especially if you tried to buy last year or the year before and you just said either I can't afford it or I can't find anything that I like. I'm just going to go ahead and be a long-term renter. This is that time that you're going to look back and say, you know what, I should have looked into it. So don't look back. Let's just evaluate it, see what makes sense, and see if you can become a homeowner instead of 
a uh, wealth builder for your landlord. Lisa, when you talk about the perfect storm, that affordability on the mortgage rate side is part of it. Another big part of it is the increase that we continue to see with rent rates. Tell us about that. So one of the interesting things that we're seeing right now is rents are going up. And I saw a recent study that the average income for people that are renting is $75,000, and they keep paying more and more and more, and rents are becoming taking over a larger percentage of their annual income. There's many people that are paying 30 40 over 50% of their income to rent. It just, to me, does not make sense. And I don't see the trend going the other way. So it's one of those things that, you know, to build long-term wealth, the first step is to own your own home, especially in places where, you know, honestly, the numbers make sense when you compare it to rent. Well, no question about it. And, uh, you know, the, the bottom line is, in an average real estate market, if you're going to be in place three years or more, history says you should be buying. But when you're talking about this perfect storm, so now we've talked about two elements of the perfect storm, but the the other, you were talking about even a year ago. Well, we've seen what? About half of the Palm Beaches, half of the South Florida real estate market that is actually flat to lower priced than this time a year ago, plus some of the more favorable terms that you're discussing. So now we're talking about much better mortgage rates and, in some cases, lower prices at the same time. Yeah, it's a very interesting time, and a lot of sellers have not realized this, and they're making huge mistakes when it comes to pricing. The reality is that many of the people listening right now are in at least a neutral or a buyer's market, and they either don't know it or they don't want to know it. It's one of the things about having information and then positioning yourself to win. That is our goal, because there's always an opportunity in the market. But if you put your head in the sand and just act like it doesn't matter, that I can do whatever I want, that doesn't matter on market conditions, you're going to be one of the ones that just are are sitting and not selling. And Lisa, the final component to this perfect storm is... If we're talking about near record low mortgage rates, generally that's because the economy's not doing so well. Uh, Generally because there's a a need to try to stimulate activity. And here we are in a good economy where the average Floridian is now earning 5.1% more money than this time last year. So this is the historic situation. We've seen some of the other factors that we're talking about prior but I've never seen what we have going on in a good economy where people are making more money. And that is the other part of it, Lisa. You talk about opportunity time and striking when the opportunity is there. All signs right now point in that direction that if you do not own, you should be doing everything you can to try to take advantage of the market that's in front of us. Yeah, Brian, you know, people talk about, well, when the market crashed, you know, prices were so cheap, and they were. However, you could not get a loan unless you had 20% down. You probably didn't have a lot of confidence in your job just because of what was going on and Mm -hmm. affecting everybody in the economy. So who cared if it was a great deal if you didn't have the cash sitting in the bank? Right. Now we have great prices or better prices. We have amazing interest rates, more opportunity to negotiate terms, and great jobs. I mean, it is really, in my opinion, the best market for actual, for buying that we've seen for a very long time. Agreed. Yeah, we, we spoke uh, recently. It, just from a pure put the numbers down and, and analyze the stuff, it's the best since January or February of 2012, the best opportunity. But again, relative in a good economy, never seen anything like this. So Lisa, if someone is hearing this and going, all right, well, you know, maybe it's interesting, maybe I shouldn't rent. How quickly, you know, can you take a look at helping somebody make that kind of a lifestyle change? It's actually a very simple process, and people are surprised by that. We get you in touch with our lender, assuming you're going to be getting a mortgage, and most of us do. We get you in touch with our lender. You work through the numbers. Then we sit down and do a proper consultation with you. After the consultation, we get to work, 
and we start looking for your dream home that fits what you must have in order to make a purchase. And then we find it, show it to you, help you buy it, and then handle the details. So you could be in, I'd say, average time for us is 30 days from the day you start. It can happen faster depending on is the home vacant, and it can happen a little slower if maybe you need, let's say you need 45 days closing. But it can happen very simply, very easily, and one out of four renters right now should be buying. How do you find out if you're one out of the four? It's really easy. Just call me. 561-972-8326. That's it. 561-972-8326. Lisa, the most common excuse I hear from renters still, I don't have enough money to put down. You know, if you've got first, last, and security with loans going out at just 3% down, essentially, you're going to have the money you need to put down. Yes, and there are some programs out there with actually 0% down. So you probably, first, last, and security you probably have enough. So let's not guess. Let's find out. Let's explore and see if you should be buying. Now, that's all very compelling information. But the final step is, oh, but I'm comfortable. I don't want to move. You've talked before about wealth and how much wealth is tied to home ownership. Refresh people in case they've not heard it before. 83% of our wealth, when they study people at retirement, comes from real estate. It gets even worse, in my opinion, because the wealth really is impacted by what? Age. The sooner you buy, the sooner you start that appreciation, just like any compounding effect, the more wealth you will have. And so... If you own a home but you know a friend who's renting, a child, a grandchild, it is time if they have a job and if they're, once again, going to be there for the next three to five years. It is time to get information. That's all we're talking about. There's three out of four that should not be buying, but there's one out of four that should. And in Palm Beach County, that's 110,000 people. That's One out of four doesn't sound incredible. like a lot, right? Oh, it, 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 I'm a numbers guy, so it kind of does. But, yeah, I mean, that's a huge <laughs> number any way you look at it. 110,000 people. And, uh, you know, the, Lisa, you, the, the other thing that comes to mind hearing you talk about, you know, the time and, and value proposition everything else my first rule of retirement is a mortgage is not a retirement plan. And the reason is, except for the exceptionally wealthy that might try to use a mortgage as some type of a financial instrument at that point, rather than something they're concerned about financially. If you are paying a landlord, um, if you have something you have to account for that's meaningful every month just to keep the roof over your head, whatever that happens to be, you may never be able to retire or at best you're going to have more stress and a less relaxing retirement than you otherwise would because you have that pressure of having to pay somebody else for your roof over your head every month. So it's all part of a longer-term strategy to be able to get the most out of your life. And you mentioned something that was really interesting a couple minutes ago. You said, but I'm comfortable. I don't want to move. I have to tell you that's the number one reason that I get calls from people that say, you know, maybe I should buy is because they get a call from their landlord that says, you know what, I don't want to be a landlord anymore. I'm going to sell. And then you have to move. So why not go ahead and make the move one time where you know that you're building wealth for yourself and that you decide if you want to move or not, not have the decision made for you. Great information and an excellent point. And for more great information and excellent points, the truth, they're ready to help you right now. Reach out to them at 561-972-8326. That's 561-972-8326. If you're not already there, go to truerealestate911.com and take advantage of the information and the resources that are made available to you. I'm Brian Lepp for Lisa True, and we'll see you next time.